You've brought that into the workplace, though, haven't you? This this uh, this culture of of humour and being able to to bring in. In fact, you've published some articles uh, in some yeah. journals about the role of dark humour in yeah. uh, life of the parent. Can you tell us a bit more about why you chose to to do that? Yeah, well, something I noticed throughout early on in my career, but also throughout the whole time, is um, dark humour is everywhere, and it's, I like. I, I guess it started, I, I like teaching my children lessons through shock factor, good and bad, you know, <laughs> uh, a, a form of discipline that will shock them like, <gasps> I'm never doing that again. <laughs> and they'll remember the experience because of the outcome, good or bad, you know. Um, and I sort of transitioned or take that thought into, into the work life where dark humor is where it's everywhere. It's like, oh, you shouldn't say that. But when you go into the psychology of why, it's it's especially on road, it's it's the coping mechanism, the universal way that people get through um, the grief moment or the, the shock of of um, what they've just experienced because they have to process that, and it's the way that people can process and people do it differently. Like my personality is way different to yours, and and so forth. And the things that you find funny, I won't really. Um, laugh at maybe but the things that I, I find hilarious you might find offensive or shocking you know but when you, when you bring the culture of people in one place under one roof on road we're dealing with the same kind of things and so that that characteristic of, of dark humor and, and black humor and is is real and it's everywhere and I, I approached it on the concept of well who should learn that and should they learn that because students, first time on road, they're coming out of a, a nice, you know, sheltered home, 19-year-old, fresh at uni, you know, never seen, I don't know, <laughs> the dark door or anything. And next thing you know, they've been thrown into this massive car accident, bodies, blood and guts everywhere. And then people are cracking jokes about, I don't know, whatever it is. And they go, did wow. I just hear that? <laughs> you, you can't say that. How did you, how can you say that? They just die, you know, and all these, and, but once they get, I don't want to use the word accustomed to it, but once, once you look, take a look inside from the other side, now mm -hmm. we're taking a look from the, from paramedics perspective, not the patient's perspective. When, um, you, it's, yeah, some of us is downright nasty, but it's the way that people can manage what they've just dealt with. They've had a massive personal blow. They've just cradled a dying baby or said you know seen something horrible happen and they have to cope with that now they have to process they have to put it behind them for the next job mm. so one way that they use that to compartmentalize is make a crack have a laugh have a bit of relief comic relief at someone's expense because that's the d definition of dark humor mm. uh, the laughing at someone's expense and then move on Mm. And it's not that they mean any one single word of it, but it's a way to get them through the moment. Now, whether or not the, the viewer agrees with this mentality, I don't, it doesn't matter because that's how it happens. Mm. It's just like trying to drop an apple, you know, and, and tell a scientist it's going to go up. It's not going to happen because the way people, and not everyone's like this, but the way the general, uh, my observations about the general dark humor in this job, uh, some of the conversations that y you will hear in the write-up room or around the kitchen table at station, don't repeat them. That, that's not for public um, consumption, <laughs> but it's a vital aspect of helping someone debrief mm. that keeps them on road for the next 20 years um, in, in some cases. It's not every case, you know, but in, in the extreme cases, I, I have found that um, it's a way to get through not just the day but the job and the career so this article is basically addressing all of that the the, the psychology and theory behind it i guess because it's an academic article but also introducing the concept of should students learn that or should they learn it and then how are we going to teach that to them in an appropriate and professional manner because the concept of professional black humor is the ultimate oxymoron in the universe but it happens you know, <laughs> so yeah, that, that, I don't know. It, it was just an assignment that I did for uni, for one of my um, subjects. And the feedback that came from my lecturer was like, 
this is great. You need to publish. Wow. Um, and my response is, I'm not done yet. I ran out of word count. So <laughs> I topped it up, said what I wanted to say and submitted it. And fortunately, it was accepted by the, um, the Paramedics Australasia magazine um, a couple of few years ago. So yeah.